Hi there, so today we are continuing uh, to learn about dialog boxes and we are also going to learn about methods that convert strings into numbers. So yesterday we talked about the J option pane class and we learned about the, the two methods. One of the methods is show input dialog and another method is show message dialog. Show message dialog uh, just displays a Windows dialog box to the user with whatever, with, uh, whatever information we put in there. And then we've got the show input dialog uh, method which will create a Windows dialog box that can grab information from a user. Now one of the things to keep in mind with show input dialog is that whenever it grabs information from uh, the, the dialog box it's always going to grab a string. Well this poses a problem if we uh, have a number uh, that we need to you know do calculations with. Well we have methods that can convert strings into numbers. So what happens is we're going to use this uh, show input dialog to grab whatever the user types and uh, we're going to put that into a string variable for example we're going to call that uh, string variable str input and then we're going to use this um, right here to convert that string variable let's say it's str input into uh, a double variable and you use this class this double class along with this parse double method if you've got if you want to convert it to a double number and you use uh, this integer dot parse int um, method right here if you want to convert it to an integer. So right here is an example of what we're going to do. Let's say uh, we uh, have an input dialog box that comes up and says enter a number. person enters that number and let's say they enter the number 8. The number 8 is going to go into str input and then what we can do to create to uh, convert that uh, string into an actual number is we use this method right here double dot parse double str input. So 8 is going to go in here this parse double is actually going to create, uh, create or convert it to a real double uh, number of the double data type, and that is going to go into DBL number. So let's uh, do a demo real quick to explain or just to give an example of what's going on. So uh, my class name here that I created is public class crow3 underscore 022 underscore triangle area demo. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to import our our um, J option pane class because it's not automatically available. So import space Java X dot swing dot J option pane. This, this is needed for dialog boxes. And then inside my class here, I need to go ahead and I need to create my um, uh, my my main method. So I'm going to say public static void main string uh, brackets and then args. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to declare some variables. So uh, let's declare some variables in this program. So uh, we're going to declare a string variable. We're going to call that str input and this is going to be the uh, string used to grab input. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a double variable called dbl height I'm going to create another double variable called dbl width, and this is going to be the triangles angles, uh, height. This is going to be the triangles width, and then I'm going to create a double variable called double uh, area, and this is going to be the triangles area. So I'm going to create a simple program that's going to calculate uh, a triangle's area. So the first thing that we need to do is get the triangle's height. And we'll say str input equals j option pane dot show input dialog. And I'm going to ask the user what is the triangle's height. I'm going to make this move down to the next line so that it fits. Okay. Now, once I grab that information using this uh, method and I put whatever the height is into this this string right here, str input, and I have to put it into a string variable because the uh, show input dialog box will only grab a string and only it will not grab a number. So I need to convert that number into uh, a uh, double. I need to convert that string into a double data type. So here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to use my comments here. I'm going to say converting the input into a double data type. So dbl height equals 
double dot parse double str input. So what I've done here is I've taken this string, whatever values that, it, that is in the string, and for example it was 8, and I'm going to parse that string into an actual double variable. And so then uh, I can put it into dbl height. So dbl height will actually have a double variable of 8 inside of it. So the next thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to get the triangle, the triangle's uh, width. So I'm going to say str input. I can use str input again since my my value is now in dbl height. So I can use I can reuse str input uh, to do what I want it to do. J option pane dot show input dialog, and I'm going to say what is whoops what is the triangle's width. All right. And again, I'm going to convert the input into a double data type. So I'm going to say dbl width equals double dot parse double str input. And something went wrong with this. Let's look here. J option pane, show input dialog. J option. Cannot find symbol. J option P pane. There we go. So next, I've got my um, I've got my DBL width now, and I've got my DBL height. So now I can perform a calculation. I can figure out the uh, the uh, triangle's area. So calc, calculate, calculate the triangle area. And I'm going to say dbl area equals dbl height times dbl width times 0.5. And now I can display the triangle area to the user. So I'm going to say j option pane dot show message dialog so I'm going to say null comma and we're going to say the area of the triangle let me get rid of this there we go the area of the triangle is plus and I'm going to say dbl area and at the very end of the program, I need to use my system.exit instruction. So system.exit0. So now if I run this program, right click, run file. So what is the triangle's height? If I type 7. And I click OK, and if I say, what is the triangle's width? If I type 6, click OK, the area of the triangle is 21, which is half of 42. So this is correct. So again, what we were doing today is we were using um, our uh, J option pane class in the show input dialog to grab information from the user. And keep in mind, whenever you use this, it's going to be a string variable. That's why I have to put it into a, a string variable. This one's called str input. But since it's a number and I want to calculate it, I then have to parse that number. I have to convert that this string into a number. So I use this method right here called parse double, and then I can put it into a double data type. And then with this double data type variable, I can then use uh, this instruction right here to perform calculations with it. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you later.